start with state transition matrix part 2. So, computation of state transition matrix using diagonalization method. For any control system application modeling then state transition matrix, state equations, controllability, observability, control design, observer design these are very important particularly in advanced control system, advanced linear control system these are very important issues. So, in the, all these issues we will find that diagonalization is a method which is useful in a modeling, it is useful in a state transition matrix, it is useful in controllability observability and even it is useful in a controller design. Therefore, this diagonalization has a wide applications. Now, today we are discussing the how to use this diagonalization concept for uh, getting the state transition matrix. Earlier we have seen how to determine the state transition matrix using power series method and also by Laplace approach, Laplace transform approach. Now, we will see how to determine the state transition matrix using diagonalization method. So, we start with the same state space equation. So, your state space equation is same x dot equal to a x x naught equal to x 0 and here x of t to e raise to a t into x naught. Our purpose is to determine the e raise to a t by means of diagonalizations. So, diagonalization we have seen that it is based on the some additional state or different state that means, original system let us say in a state x it can be converted into state z or it can be converted into state k any any state. So, here our system it is in state x form diagonalization means that it has to convert into different state. So, here first of all we assume this matrix A has distinct Eigen values that is Eigen values are not repeated that means, we assume that the Eigen values of A Eigen values of matrix A are distinct that is Eigen values of A are say lambda 1, lambda 2, lambda 3 up to say lambda n these are Eigen values they are different. And as I told you that diagonalization is based on new state vectors. So, what we are assuming here a new state vector let us say k. So, we can write down a state equation let us say in terms of x equals to m into say k. x is the original state vector, k is the new state vector and this m is a model matrix, model matrix is also belong to n cross n, n cross n matrix. Now, we have to move further, we want equation in terms of k. So, what we will write from this equation this k equal to m inverse x, k equal to m inverse x. Now, after this we can differentiate this equation k dot equal to m inverse x dot. Now, this m inverse what is x dot? x dot equals to a x. So, we can write down a into x that is m inverse a into x. Now, what is x? This x is nothing but m k. Now, here our state it is in terms of k in the left hand side. So, in the right hand side also we should get the equation in terms of k. So, therefore, m inverse a and this x is replaced by m into k. So, if we can write this as m inverse a into m into k and this nothing but k dot equals to m inverse a m into k this is equations and now this m inverse a m this equation it is in diagonal form that is k dot equals to a power into k. 
where this a bar involved the eigenvalues lambda 1, lambda 2 and lambda, lambda n that is in diagonal form. Diagonal form we have seen the elements are very, very less on the diagonal elements are present the remaining elements are 0. Now, our main purpose is to get e raised to a t. We have reached into new state vector, but we have to reach to e raised to a t. How will you move it? So, now we have got this one just like x dot equals to x, we have determined x of t. So, here also because equation in terms of k dot equals to a bar into k, we can get k of t, but question is remaining e raised to a t. Now, we correlate afterwards k of t and e of a t. Now, in this particular case a bar as I told earlier this a bar is nothing but this involvement of eigenvalues lambda 1, lambda 2 up to say lambda n. And I am writing down this equation again that is k dot equal to a bar into k. So, as I told x dot equal to a x, we are writing down x of t equal to e raise to a t into x naught. Similarly, here also we can write down as k of t equal to e raise to a bar t into k into not k naught, k of t equal to a bar t equal to k into 0. Now, what is a e what is a a bar t? So, this we can write down in power series expansion as i plus a bar t plus a bar factorial to a t square plus 1 by factorial 3 a cube t cube like this. Now, this equation can be written as 1 0 0 say 0 1 0 say 0 0 1 like this plus plus this equation is a bar. What is a bar? A bar is your lambda 1, lambda 2, lambda n. So, we replace this here lambda 1, lambda 2 up to lambda n that is into t plus. Now, here a bar square, a bar square that means lambda 1, lambda 2, lambda n that is we have to make square of this elements. So, we will get lambda 1 square lambda 2 square up to say lambda n square into t square plus 1 plus factorial 3 equals to lambda 1 cube lambda 2 cube up to say lambda n cube into t cube. So, this we have done. Now, we can add the elements of each rows and see what result we will get. So, if you add these elements, you will get 1 plus lambda 1 into t plus 1 plus factorial 2 lambda 1 square into t square plus 1 plus factorial 3 lambda 1 cube into t cube and you will find that all the elements are 0. Now, coming to the second row, in second row in this second elements in the second row we will get the elements at 1 plus lambda 2 t plus 1 plus factorial 2 lambda 2 square t square plus 1 plus factorial 3 lambda 2 cube t cube and rest of the element 0. That means, in the second row in the second element we have element means variables, but rest of the elements are zeros. Second element, rest of the element is 0. Now, this process repeated and at the last row 
last row last column you will get the element says 1 plus lambda n t plus 1 by factorial 2 of lambda n square into t square plus 1 plus factorial 3 lambda n cube into t cube. That means, if you express properly we can show like this this is t 1 t 2 and up to your t n and here this t 1 is nothing but this part this t 2 is nothing but like this and t n like this that is t n here 1 plus lambda n t plus 1 plus factorial 2 lambda n square t square plus 1 plus plus factorial 3 lambda n cube into t cube and this process we did. That means, we will get elements in the diagonal form only. Now, what to do further? Now, this we can replace in terms of lambda 1, this we can replace in terms of lambda 2 and this we can represent as lambda n. That means, finally, this equation that is e raise to a bar t can be written as e raise to lambda 1 t, e raise to lambda 2 t up to e raise to lambda 1 into t. That means, we are starting with this a bar k into a bar k, we got a bar t, we have got this results and we are added, after addition we got this and this particular part written as e raise to lambda 1 t, this e raise to lambda 2 lambda 2 t, e raise to lambda n t, but our main purpose again is e raise to a t, but now we are used to a raise to a bar t. Now, how will you get it? Now, here x of t equal to m into k of t. Just see here, here x m k that is x of t equals to m k of t and as I told you that after doing all this adjustment, we have reached to e raise to a bar t, but our concern with the x of t. So, here this is m and what is k of t? This k of t equals to e a bar t into k of 0. You will see here this k of t equal to a bar t into k of 0. See here we are replace m e raise to a bar t into x of k of 0. Now, now here x equals to m into k that means, if you write x of 0 equal to m k of 0 that means, k of 0 equal to m inverse into x of 0. So, here we replace this x of 0 equals to m inverse into x of 0. So, we can write down as m e a bar t equal to m inverse x into 0 that means, x of t m e a bar t m inverse into x of 0 and we know that this x of t equal to e raise to a t into x naught. So, if you compare this equation we can get equal to m e a bar t into m inverse we will get m inverse. So, e of t equals to m e raise to a bar t into m inverse. So, this is the method of getting the state transition matrix e raise to a t and this e a bar t can be written as e lambda 1 t e lambda 2 t and e lambda 1 t that is m inverse. So, now this methodology we have seen and we will find that as a mathematical portion it is quite cumbersome, 
but then question has been come why in a practice we will do all these type of calculations because today we have softwares and uh, we can easily get these results after we will see how to calculate this state transition matrix using uh, some matlab software but question has been come what is the importance of this in today's time in today's time if you conserve them some numerical parameters numerical values then there is no use of such methods only from academic point of view for getting some result it is useful but if you working on some practical problems what are the correlations between different states what are the eigen values corresponding to these states so that internal information we can get by this one that type of information cannot can be achieved by means of software therefore this has method if you see from research angle is quite useful now we'll try to solve some example based on this approach let us say a given matrix a is written as minus 2 1 3 0 minus 3 0 0 5 minus 1 this is the matrix a and our main purpose is to determine e raised to 80 this is a and we have to use the this diagonalization approach and we have already seen the formula and then we we'll, now we we'll try to determine e raised to 80 as in this particular approach we will find that it based on the model matrix m and how to get the model matrix the model matrix depends upon the eigenvalues and also the eigenvector therefore whenever the problem has come to you and if you want to determine e raised to 80 by diagonalization the first step we have to calculate the eigenvalues of this matrix so the eigenvalues of this matrix if you calculate it the eigenvalues of this matrix a Eigen values of matrix A lambda one equal to minus one, lambda two equal to minus two, and this lambda three equals to minus three. These are three eigen values. So, could to get the M, we not only require eigen values, we also require the eigen vectors. And we have seen last time that if a given system matrix A, it is in companion form that is or controllable canonical form that is A equals to 0 1 0 0 0 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4. If this is the case, we have seen that the model matrix M can be determined as 1 1 1 lambda 1 lambda 2 lambda 3 lambda 1 square lambda 2 square lambda 3 square that is called van der Motte matrix that is eigenvector can easily be represented but when a general matrix is there because you see that this matrix is general matrix we cannot know the what is the property of this matrix just looking after this a matrix therefore in that such case we have to actually calculate the eigenvectors so if you calculate the eigenvectors of this matrix a uh, eigenvectors of each eigenvalues we will get for eigenvectors for lambda 1 equals to minus 1 we will get 3 0 1 the eigenvectors for lambda 2 equals to minus 2 1 0 0 that is eigenvector for lambda 2 equals to minus 2 1 0 0 and third lambda 3 equals to minus 3 the eigenvectors are minus 13 minus 2 and this is 5 now these are the eigenvectors for each eigenvalues and to get the model matrix we have to combine these eigenvectors so the eigenvectors we have combined if we will get the model matrix and this m equal to 3 1 minus 13 0 0 minus 2 1 0 5 so we have got m but now if you see the formula m e raised to a bar t into m inverse m we have calculated as i told by eigenvectors and eigenvalues now to get the m inverse this is also quite uh, troublesome work and we say that as the order increases quite difficult even for third order also if you do it it will take at least 10 minutes 
But uh, the simple method I already explained the linear algorithm where there is no need for uh, calculating the determinant based on the trace of the matrix we can also get it. Now here uh, if you calculate the, the inverse of this matrix M, so we will get M inverse. M inverse we will get it as 0, 2.5, 1, 1, minus 14, minus 3, 0, minus 0.5 and 0. So, we have got M inverse. The next step we have to determine this E A bar into T, E raised to A bar into T that to be determined. So, now E raised to A bar T and this E raised to A bar T is depend upon the eigenvalues that means in the in the diagonal element or the in the diagonal rows we can say we have to write the element in terms of eigenvalues. So, the eigenvalues are minus 1, minus 2 and minus 3. So, here we can write down as E raised to minus T e raised to minus 2 t, e raised to minus 3 t and rest of the elements are zeros. So, we have got m, we have got m inverse, we have got e a bar into t and what is the final stage? Your final state is e raised to a into t that is m e a bar t into m inverse. So, now if you multiply all these 3 matrices you will get the result as that is e raised to a into t that is m e raised to a bar t into m inverse that is equal to e raised to minus 2 t 7.5 to e raised to minus t plus e raised to minus 2 t plus 6.5 into e raised to minus 3 t then here 3 into e raised to minus t minus 3 e raised to minus 2 t here we will get 0. Here we will get e raised to minus 3 t, here we will get 0, then third row 0, 2.5 into e raised to minus t, minus 2.5 e raised to minus 3 t and here e raised to minus t. So, this is nothing but a state transition matrix using a diagonal method or diagonal or we can say a canonical method, diagonal canonical form of method. And again, as you see, calculation wise is quite cumbersome. Therefore, as I told earlier, we better to go for a Laplace transform, but sometimes we have to go for the some internal analysis. This method is quite useful. This method, as I told, it is useful for state transition matrix, also state equations in a model. We will find that this approach is also useful in a controller design. So, that part we will see uh, when uh, I will explain you the how to design a, a state feedback controller. Now, these are some references Dirai Chaudhary, B C Ku and also this Nagarath and Gopal. Thank you.